Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Arsenal iPhone. In today's video, I will show you six things I repaired using 3D printers. Number one, you know exactly what I mean. You are working on a project and you need a fan blade instantly. So you gather what you have laying around thinking about no consequences. Yeah, let's just say I don't have that fan blade anymore. So I jumped over to my favorite CAD software Fusion 360 and sketched up a very simple fan blade that I then 3D printed using PLA and supports. Now your boy messed up and forgot to activate the retraction settings and the supports was just too close to the object. So it looks really quite rough on one side, but that's fine, it still works. So all you have to do is pop it off, pop it off. So all you have to do is pop it right on. Now secure it and and there you have it. 3D printed fan blade, success. Numero dos. RC cars have been in my life since I was a little kid and they are fun to drive. However, something eventually might break, especially if you drive like me. This time a small arm inside the steering mechanism broke. It literally shattered into multiple pieces. It was a hard crash. And once again I used my CAD software to sketch it up to show you just how powerful a CAD software can be. It's a great combination with a 3D printer. There are plenty of free ones you can use if you don't want to pay for one. Here I have the arm and it's printed using the nylon filament. This is way more flexible and 20 times the toughness of PLA. You know, it will not break, it will not break. So it's perfect for this application. I have been bashing it around for a couple of weeks and it still holds up, so I would give it thumbs up. Number three, Okfira. Yeah, I do play golf on occasion and uh, I wanna say that I hit the ball too hard that my golf club broke but you could probably guess what happened. So I thought it would be the perfect time to repair this and I did so by printing a nylon tube that I have in here because it's hollow and I then clamped it down using the two brackets and I took the liberty to add a few drops of epoxy glue and it feels just as stiff as it did before so I think it will work. Fünf und sechs. I was also able to use the same technique on my leaking garden hose. Here we have a vacuum cleaner and the plastic casing that used to be on here eventually cracked because it was dropped too many times. Uh, so it looks a little bit odd, but more importantly, it makes a hell of a sound. So I printed this casing using PLA in just under an hour and if we slide it back on not only not only does it look a whole lot better but the sound is significantly decreased. Yeah. Yeah. This too has been dropped too many times so all I did was print a small circle and all you have to do is pop it right on. It's tight and it will stay in place very nicely. It looks good and works very well. All I ask for is for one second of your time just to go down and click the thumbs up. It really helps me out to know if you like these kind of videos because I love to make them. So see you next time, have a nice day, bye.